making we're making our dream home so especially the kitchen we found really tricky making an open plan it makes it look like we've got such a bigger house that like i was asking like why can't we have like skylights like all along the extended area yeah we couldn't believe how much just one wall yeah. like creators but then we had a storm units yeah and we were so worried that, um, but they ripped out the kitchen and the roof went on our new bedroom we met with the kitchen designer yeah finalized the designs hi guys welcome back to my channel and to our second renovation update if you haven't seen our first one i will link it in the description down below so you can catch up but I wanted to show you guys where we're up to now in terms of our build. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, we've basically been extending our home. We moved into this Tudor inspired home about a year ago, having seen it two years before that. Um, so this has been like a long time in the making and it's finally happening. We're making our dream home. It's really exciting, but we are living in dust. We're in like the middle bit of the build at the moment, which yeah. I think is probably the trickiest. Yeah. Um, but it's still really exciting and so much has happened throughout January and February that we wanted to update you. We'll put loads of cutaways in as well. And I've got my husband, Matt, because he is very much like involved in the project. He kind of does everything like with the builders, etc. I don't physically do much. Well, no, but he talks to them yeah. and <laughs> it's really hard. And makes decisions and stuff. Or don't. Um, yeah, or it's doesn't. It's crazy how long we've known about it and we've still got decisions to make. Like we just like sort of mould over for so long and like because you haven't got to we haven't made them yeah and it feels like we just so want to get it right because we do plan on staying here yeah. and like enjoying it so especially the kitchen we found really tricky um but we're just going to take you through everything that's happened i think how we ended the last update was the big huge steel beams were going in yeah so the big steels yeah. were in um mm -hmm. And it was only when we've now been putting other smaller steels in that we've realised just how big they were. Yeah, they were absolutely um, massive. We'll put a cutaway here. Yeah, cranes, They craned over our house. It has kind of dented our drive, hasn't it? Because, <laughs> like, the truck was just so massive. Yeah. We were like, let's not do the drive until the very end. So that was really yeah. lucky. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. If you're new, please subscribe because we have so much house content coming. Great to have you along for the journey. Yeah. But, yeah, let's get into it. Just to recap, we're doing a fairly big open plan extension to our house. Um, we're actually not building over m much more land, as mm. it were. We actually knocked down an old conservatory um, and we've gone out about two and a half metres to the side of our house. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going out just under three metres, but most of it is where the conservatory was anyway, yet. Yeah. By, knock, mm. by knocking it all through and making it open plan, it makes it look like we've got such a bigger house and a yeah. bigger space. Um, so the illusion has worked already, we can see that. Yeah. Um, so to recap, in the previous video, we, where we left it was that we'd actually had all the exterior walls built mm. um, and three of the big steels had gone in that were going to support um, the, the new upstairs part of the house that we were adding. Um, so they started knocking through the internally the internal walls or the back what were the back walls of our house yeah. um, and to make that plan open space but there's obviously loads of acros which are those poles basically that hold up yeah like support your support the house. back of the house yeah because um, even though the steels were in we were st we still had to put more steels in but to do that they needed to knock some of the walls at the yeah. back of the, the yeah, house yeah it did out. feel like there was a lot of steel beams like going in yeah. but but when you see this space well hopefully you're seeing it now with a bit of video footage you'll see like it's a very big open space yeah so they've had to obviously support the whole house with yeah. lots of steels it was like the, basically the corner of the house um, yeah, next to the conservatory mm. to make it open plan that was the big decision was obviously to do that but yeah. we know that as a living space that really works for our family and then before long we had timber joists so the carpenters had put up the timber joists in the new extended area for the ceiling in there um, mm. and then they'd even constructed the uh, skylight which would be going above technically above the cooker or in between the cooker and the island in the new kitchen so we get a load of nice natural light dropping from above in there yeah um actually when we first did the plans like i was asking like why can't we have like skylights like all along the extended area mm. and then the architect was like you don't actually need that because you've got those lovely big sliding doors as well yeah. and obviously the flat roof now means that we could have a balcony as well mm -hmm. um but yeah we're just saying like having 
ceiling joists and um, floorboards as well. Like when you get to that stage, suddenly like you don't go from just having this big space that's outside because you can see the ceiling. Suddenly you've got a ceiling and it's like the room feels bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, but that was exciting because then we could really kind of like see the space. As we said, they started knocking out all the walls. Yeah. Um, and just like seeing that big opening where the glass doors will go is really exciting because we get the sunset. So like every evening we go out there and we're like. Oh, like yeah. just kind of dreaming and with the balcony area as well also that's probably the next bit but obviously once they built the timber frame like for the floors obviously they started building up we're only doing a very small extension upstairs for our bedroom like for the main bedroom um because the, the upstairs is a really good size we're just kind of building a little bit onto that aren't we yeah. and having a balcony which will be great yeah so talking of which they then boarded out mm. the um what was above the ceiling joist, so then they could eventually put a balcony on. Yeah. Um, and then they started knocking wall complete, knocking through the walls completely downstairs. Mm. So it, we were still they were still using some of it as support, but then they knocked that through, and then we had the total open plan. Have mm-hmm. we said open plan at all? <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't go it's out of fashion. It's very open plan, <laughs> yeah. Or when the kids 20, are teenagers, 20, 25 we're like, trends. we don't want to hang out with you anymore. We'll be like, sorry, so <laughs> you have to. We've had quite a few questions, especially on Instagram, about our balcony and like how it's going to work and that we're not going to look at other people's gardens and stuff. So we thought we'd just quickly talk about the balcony because it was an afterthought for us. Initially, we weren't going to have it. And then when they kind of built it, we were like, oh, and we put in for planning to actually have a balcony. It's going to be how long across? How um, wide? Yeah, like... It's like five metres. Five metres. Five metres across, but actually not very deep. deep. Is that right? Yeah, was because it? when we first applied, yeah. we actually had like a pitched roof out the back just to sort of in keeping with the house. Um, mm. And then we decided we... When we started thinking about how we wanted to look like an exterior, so how we would clad it or, or like render it, mm. and we actually decided we wanted... We wanted to keep the mock Tudor look of like most of the house, but then we wanted like a modern black box on the back because it was going to be such a modern space with all the glass anyway. So we then decided to have a flat roof, which also meant that the stills, all those stills that we're having, it would house all of like those easier. a lot easier. So we, we could, yeah. it definitely meant we could have an open plan area rather than maybe seeing some of the stills. Mm. Um, so we then got the flat roof idea and then I just put it out there. I was like, oh, you can have a balcony. And then it's yeah, like, and the architect was like, yeah, you can, like yeah. if you wanted to. Mm. Um, and then the more we looked at it, it was like, it, it'd Makes be silly sense. not to get Because we've got, like, we do like the view. And do you? And I just thought, oh, I could be on the balcony, like a cup of coffee. Yeah. In reality. Yeah. <laughs> the way it works is it's not too deep. One and a half meters, two yeah, meters, yeah, well. um, deep, and then on the side, like there's gonna, it's gonna be like a glass balcony, but to the sides, they're gonna be like, what's the word, privacy glass? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's screens. not like we're gonna be looking at. Our it's like neighbors. looking out the window. And um, yeah, it's actually like looking out the window, and we're also the furthest house back, probably, aren't we? So we're kind yeah, of like yeah, we're, we're not. Back. So we got that planning, which was amazing. So it's yeah. just like a nice kind of extra. Yeah. Um, and then it's weird because now. Ever since we've known we've got it, it's like all we've talked about. Yeah, yeah. Like so really we never excited. really gave any thought when we bought the house and was thinking about it, renovating, etc. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, once they'd knocked all the water through downstairs, they then made their way upstairs. Um, a small still needed to go in, but they needed to knock through um, the, uh, an outside wall of the house. So it was what, what was our spare bedroom. Yeah. Um, and it was really messy and dusty. A few days, it was wasn't it? So all the knocking messy. through. Yeah, we couldn't believe how much just one wall. Yeah. like created and then when they were knocking through it like you could taste it like you could yes. smell it like if you like <laughs> can like smell it. and we would sort of blocked off most things as like, any gaps there were in doors and walls mm. and stuff but you still managed to get through yeah and, and it was so was... dangerous like with the dog that like, we can really let her out or like she's still gonna is. get taken out with <laughs> yeah. a brick or something like well, so that meant they could start the construction yeah. of our bedroom so um mm-hmm. we hadn't really given that too much thought have we we'd obviously like was excited about the balcony thing yeah and i don't know there's only sometimes you can look at visuals and see how the, the size mm. of something, etc., and what you're doing. Mm. But it's only when they started like to put it together. Because this, the extension part at the back of the house for our bedroom is like brand new. We're gonna have like a vaulted ceiling because there's obviously like no loft there. Yeah. Um, so that like kind of gives it the height and it looks really big. Um, I'm not yeah, jumping really, ahead too much. Yeah, that's like okay. video free. Sorry. <laughs> so then came the scaffolding. Oh it's yes, really interesting. scaffolding. Yeah, yes. no, we sort of, we sort of forgotten that, that they would have to do that. Yeah, and so like, that's like, ugly. Yeah, yeah, but 
as we speak, it's not here, so uh, yeah, that's been, for long. Been, uh, been good. But we had that scaffolding, and it, they put a tin roof on it so that they could work throughout any weathers, but then we had a storm it's Eunice, Eunice yeah. and we were so worried that it was all going to like blow over or whatever, but it actually didn't. It stayed in place. So then bricklayers came back. They built the walls for our new bedroom. There wasn't actually that much to build, was there? Because mm. obviously we were having a vaulted ceiling. It was mostly ceiling. Mm. They put the steel beams in to sort of make the bedroom open plan. Mm -hmm. um, and we're having like a big piece of glass again to take in the view at the back of the house so they didn't have to like brick that area yeah it was like, it's like quite a, a big, big gap big picture window it's yeah. called so like it won't open but it's just the idea that it's like obviously we one big piece of glass out. yeah nice um, and, bright. and then there'll be v-lux windows in the vaulted ceiling mm -hmm. because we won't have any ventilation any air yeah. which is lucky we we dumbed an odd about it, no. about having V-Lux windows. And then we're like, actually, like we need it because we have a door, but we won't want to sort of sleep with the door open. Yeah, like the um, balcony door open. Yeah, so obviously the V-Lux windows. Great, like, in. in our previous home, we had them in our eldest son's room. And like yeah. when it was hot, it was just such a good, as soon as you opened them, like, the heat just went straight out yeah. the top. So it was really, really handy. So yeah, yeah glad that we like added that in. Mm. And then next came the removal of the controversial fireplace yes. in the boys' playroom. Yes. Um, and it's made such a difference. Yeah. Obviously, the room isn't finished. Mm. Um, I think a lot of people liked the look of it, but for us, it didn't. Act, it wasn't like a usable fireplace. And it's hard to see on video, but it was literally the size of like eight people. Yeah. It's, it was massive. It's a chunk of the room. And I, and I couldn't believe how big an undertaking it was. It took them an entire day three men an entire day to get it all gone it filled up a hole skip didn't yeah, it yeah and we were like wow that was actually such a big job but it's made the room feel so much bigger already and like we were thinking about the boys when they're older we were like oh maybe we'd have like a pool table for them and like having taken that out there would be this space for it so yeah. Yeah. definitely with the right decision yeah no we're pleased that we did get rid of it. Oh, well, hopefully, there's some footage here so you can sort of see just how. Yeah, but open. yeah, there was red dust everywhere. Like everyone was like covered yeah. in it. Like, yeah, you knew it was that because it was day. red. Yeah. Yeah. Then it was time to take out our kitchen, which we were actually dreading, but we managed to create a pretty good temporary kitchen in my office space. And I've actually made a whole video about it. Um, so if you want to watch that video, I'll link it in the description down below. Um, but they ripped out the kitchen and in line with that, we actually went away for the week that they did it because it was half term. And we were like, should we just get the kids away um, and get out of the builder's way, like with the dog and everything. I know it's probably not ideal for them to have us living here like it's probably quite annoying so we kind of like disappeared just like a staycation and they ripped the kitchen out and they also ripped out the wall that was between the downstairs toilet and the kitchen and that space is now going to be a slightly larger downstairs toilet and a spare bedroom um but we're not actually going to have it as a spare bedroom for now we're going to have it as a bit of a gym for the kids and for us like as they get older but if we ever wanted it uh we could make it a spare bedroom for so resale purposes yeah so like if we value. do yeah come to sell and it's quite popular yeah. now to have a yeah. spare bedroom downstairs because mm. as your parents get older yeah actually um, when we were looking at houses the estate agent said like yeah it's popular there was a few wasn't there yeah. we looked at and it would have like an office downstairs, but then the toilet on the office would have a shower. Yeah. Because so. if you have a shower downstairs, a room can count as a downstairs bedroom. So yeah, we were thinking, oh maybe yeah, maybe for, for our for parents. Us when we're older. Yeah, for our parents. Go upstairs. Or, yeah, someone. And then it's nice, like if, if you have someone come to stay, like they're downstairs, you're upstairs. In the gym. You're out. The, <laughs> you're on the treadmill. You're sleeping on the treadmill. <laughs> I'll but, get you a pillow. Yeah, but so they knocked all that out. Yeah. And, and it's finished, and here it is. I'm no, going to show you now. <laughs> no, but then unfortunately, when they did knock it out, we realized there were two like supporting things, yeah. which means we can't actually move the walls exactly how we wanted to move them. So we're trying to like get creative with what we do. And to this day, like the architect just keeps saying to me, he said, until they knock the walls down, yeah. until they can do a bit of digging that like we can't work see exactly what those walls are supporting yeah. and they're like pillars based on the corner and they're holding up quite a chunk of the upstairs of the house so yeah. um, there's not too much we can do we're just trying to be yeah be creative about how we use it maybe having a cupboard on the other side of the, mm. the chimney the, the fire surround so that it's like a good use of the space mm. i should imagine by the next yeah. video it will literally be decided there'll be the stud walls up so. yeah yeah it's exciting <laughs> 
Also, when they knocked out our kitchen, they also kind of knocked out the walls like around the hallway, which made the space feel so much bigger. It's yeah. like a really wide area Opening, now, yeah. which feels really nice. Yeah, so that's okay. what we wanted because before she had like a door frame. Mm. Well, I'd said about it, it worked out, it was stud walls, so we knew it could come out, but mm. just wanted to see it. So the idea is you come through into the hallway and then it just opens up already before you even get out mm. to the back area. Yeah. Next up, the roof went on our new bedroom and they fixed any tiles up there that needed it. And then they cut a door to our ensuite. Our room is kind of taking up the back of the house. It's going to be our bedroom, walk-in wardrobe, and then an ensuite. And so it's been really cool to like see that space. Come together. Yeah, yeah. it's really come together. They've put the floors down now, like floorboards down and they've even done like a timber frame of where our walk-in wardrobe will be yeah. initially we were going to have like this open plan um like wardrobe sort of like in the room um but <laughs> then we realized if we want to be messy or well, we've got so many clothes we want between. to be messy if no. we decide one day i'm gonna we're, be messy no but we're like you know if you're like getting ready in a hurry it will be nice i don't think it matters if you're getting ready in a hurry like, or not hidden <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna actually have our like clothes away on railings in that which would be really yeah, good yeah. and then obviously we're having a, an ensuite we've been struggling to find a way to fit a bath in our ensuite we've been mapping it out and seeing if there's any way we can like squeeze everything in don't want to give in still don't know if we can um but we're the, it's a, a good sacrifice because it's basically yeah. the size of the upstairs utility room Yes, um, yeah, because I was thinking like, so basically we're taking an old bedroom and we're splitting it in half for our ensuite and for a laundry room upstairs. Yeah. Um, but I think what do we use more, a bath or the laundry room? Like definitely the laundry room. Yeah. So I don't know, but we First still don't problems. know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not like a massive big deal or anything. Um, but yeah, so that's our bedroom, which is super exciting because yeah. obviously we've been bunking with the kids lately and like musical beds everywhere. Um, but while that was all happening upstairs, they were... Gunning up the floor. Gunning up the floor. I tell you what, that was a very noisy day. Yeah, it's not the day to do a voiceover. Oh, I, couldn't, I actually did do a voiceover on that day and I'm like... Sorry, guys, if you can hear that. It's like, funny because, like, so it's been noisy the whole time, but yeah, it's like another level. And it's like, that's the one day, like, you wish they'd have said, just so you know. Like, as you yeah. fair, they told us they were gunning up the yeah. floor, but until you, really you remember know. what gunning up the floor is, I don't think we've actually ever yeah. had it happen in our last house. Yeah, so and the reason they do that, why is that for underfloor? Well, just, yeah, because obviously we have underfloor heating and they need to get all the floors level, so they bring it all, they gun it all up. Yeah. Um, and then they can obviously screed it all again. Mm. But, um, and then hopefully, the ne next week basically they're going to be doing underfloor yeah, heating which is really um, cool and like leveling out so the it's floors. all like small steps but like we are getting there and we're, we're talking finishing mm. touches quite a lot now with things yeah and, uh, yeah they're like where do you want the electrical points where do you want the lights yeah. where do you want like so it is like it's all come upon us so we've had so long to think about it all i know and like, i have thought about it all don't get me wrong but like i haven't actually had to make the decision it's like i'm yeah. like oh yeah i can leave that now they're like we need to know this weekend yeah we need yeah. to like you know, we need an idea. But it's, it's exciting. It is so exciting. Um, is that where we are now? Is yeah. that where we're kind of yeah. up to? Yeah. So, yeah, as we say, next week, like, it will look even better when all the floor is level out there. Yeah. Um, Kids are excited, finally, because like, they, yes. they don't care. They do can I mean? see yeah, it yeah. now. I like, think. They've, they haven't got, they've loved, like, living in this, like, just the downstairs one room and stuff. For yeah. Us. Um, which is really nice, but then they came in the house earlier when me and Emily were out there, and all the scaffold is down. So suddenly, like they can just walk in there and they're like, oh my god, that's yeah, they're like, so wow, cool. so like so spacious. And they can stuff. play football in there basically. That's all they're yeah. thinking about. Yeah. Oh, and also, you said about Jimi Hendrix on your notes. I haven't noticed him. No. So we've got this wall sticker in, like, what is now our walk-in wardrobe, and yeah. it's Jimi Hendrix. We put it up. No. Obviously, it was the previous owner. He had that area as, like, a bit of a bar Game, room, uh, games room, room yeah, like, yeah. dark room, and he must like Jimi Hendrix. So um, that wall sticker is still up. We've never taken him down, and it feels like all the Instagram followers of my home account have got like quite attached to him. Yeah. So we're like, should we keep him behind the clothes in the walk-in wardrobe? Like, feels like he's part of the family now. So we don't know Watch if space. we're going to keep him or not. Yeah. I've actually got a tattoo. <laughs> it feels like so much has Everyone comments happened. and says about how quickly it's come along. And yeah. Even the builders are like, oh no, this is a little bit slow because we haven't got our windows and doors yet. Yeah, and actually that is, we should say, that's one thing we're waiting for. The windows and doors, like... Yeah. Because of the world 
at the, the moment. Way easier. Is that why? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we ordered them around Christmas time, but they do take about 12 weeks to come. Well, the sliding doors do, yeah. Because the yeah. they're obviously gigantic. Big bits of glass, and then yeah. the others will be. And the other stuff will come around the same time anyway, so. Um, yeah. But then it's kind of helped, because it's given us a bit of time to make some decisions on some things that yeah. we might have rushed otherwise. Yeah. Still haven't decided oh, the on kitchen, floor. kitchen, we should say about the kitchen. We met with the kitchen designer, yeah. finalised the designs. We should put some like visuals up yeah. of what it looks like. Um, so he's doing the kitchen units and the pantry as well. And yeah. that is supposed to be going in in May. So I think they make it in their warehouse and then like bring it in and like install it and everything. Yeah. But we were kind of mapping out where the island's going to go and like. Yeah. We're just meeting with the designer next week as well. Yeah. And we're talking furniture, which we have yeah. kind of ordered some bits already. Yeah. But we're talking furniture and then colours. Yeah, because it feels like especially with a few items you kind of need to get ordering don't you yeah. because wait times are a bit longer yeah then it's all falling into place but um, mm. you get a lot of people ask like like what's the right way to do it but i don't know like there isn't a set way do you know what i mean it's like obviously what, you know, yeah or just let them make decisions but you need to sort of prioritize i've had and, a lot of questions about cost as well but i think it's so unique to the project like yeah. you can't even say oh around this like roughly this because yeah, it's depends so depending what looking at the house we were like oh we could maybe redo all the windows but then we we're like actually it's just way too expensive we're trying to paint them yeah um and just things like that like we are leaving the office and the front room for a few years because like the cost is just a lot isn't it well, no, and we want to do it to our taste and do it properly and stuff yeah and, like, we obviously they're going to have that lovely big open plan space so we can obviously make the most yeah. of that so, and that's the priority at the moment yeah the, the open plan space to get that livable yeah yeah, but anyway, I hope we didn't ramble too much. I hope this was interesting. Um, it's nice to document for us, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. See ya. Was that all right? That's right.